Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are looking to make some serious money in GTA Online, then you're in luck because today on the show we have some massive money making tips. The MC Businesses and Bikers DLC have all just dropped some massive money bonuses and in today's video we'll be showing you the best ways to make money fast, easy, as well as completely solo with these money making opportunities. You certainly don't want to miss this one because we're going to be talking about making millions of dollars every couple hours and link below I actually have a full money guide on the MC businesses for total newbies out there and that will highlight the best businesses to grab all the locations total profits with full sales profit per hour etc and today will just be a nice little live gameplay selling all the stock we have because all of our businesses are filled to the absolute max so sit back relax enjoy and let's get into things well to start off let's start from the very beginning here which is how you can start getting your money bonuses for this week we have double money and RP on all biker sell missions double Double money and RP on the biker bar resupply missions. Double money and RP on the Asta La Vista adversary mode. Double money on all street dealer sales this week, which is actually pretty cool. You can make some decent money that way. As well as double production speed on the biker businesses. So while the biker sale missions are only double money, you are making essentially four times as much money this week because you're getting done with twice as many sales in the same amount of time now because your biker businesses are producing twice as fast. So that is absolutely awesome. The only time extra required of you here is just extra sale missions, double the amount of sale missions, right? Which in the case of MC businesses, is actually quite a lot more playtime than, you know, when we had double production on the nightclub goods because that was basically a dozen hours of gameplay before you could sell anyway, even with double production speed. But with double production speed on the MC businesses this week, you can honestly make it your total grind to just play the MC businesses and continuously sell those all throughout this week whether you're waiting to stock up fully or honestly whatever else you choose whether you you know just want to do one resupply and then sell it's all up to you so first you're going to need one of those mc clubhouses here they're all 30 percent off this week so get whatever location is closest to the rest of your businesses that is what i would recommend for any player who is seriously looking to make money with the mc businesses this week of course i have my location at the hawick clubhouse because a lot of my businesses are in this area of the map in like downtown and vinewood area area right here some players like to have everything out by the beach I think that's totally valid a lot of players have stuff in the east so they could be closer you know to their vehicle cargo warehouse all their special cargo warehouses things like that but no matter what location you choose I would recommend you keep all your businesses in a cluster all the businesses that you can keep close together you might as well keep close together so for me the hallway clubhouse works all of this stuff is going to be 30 percent off but let's quickly travel there and the reason I want to come here is to talk about one very important thing when it comes to setting up your MC businesses if you have not already before we even get into the sales here because some players you know they feel like they should put their businesses in the city so that they have to drive further away and I think that is you know a very very valid idea but the one problem with that is I don't want to keep especially if you're trying to sell in public lobbies and get that high demand bonus you really really don't want to keep all your products say if you get the post op vans or the garbage trucks or things like that you don't want to keep all your product in the city which is most likely where the majority of the player base in that session is going to be so for me my counterfeit cash factory here is in the Grand Sonora Desert then when it comes to my document forgery office I have it in grapeseed I just actually sold this for the week weekly challenge just to make some extra money and of course get the weekly challenge done and things like that. I stopped using the document forgery office as a whole. This week it is kind of worth farming for the double money but on single money it's really not worth your time or effort because unless you're really stealing supplies you're not really making much of a profit if any profit at all. But when it comes to the grass farm I recommend the Sanchiansky mountain range. When it comes to the math lab Grand Sonora Desert once again, as well as the Coca-Cola lockup, I really like the Alamo C. I want to start off with this section of the video first because I feel like it's the thing that I never really get to talk about here on the channel and I'd like to. Of course, it's not an exceptional way of making money. There's actually a decent amount of work required for the money you're making. But at Double Money this week, especially if you're getting more into the roleplay aspect of Biker Event Week here in GTA Online, then it could be something you want to do with your friends, things like that. And that is the Bar Resupply Missions. Essentially, this functions in a similar way to any of your wall safe cash in GTA, except this isn't just passively generating in the background, or it is, it's going to passively generate in the background, but what's required of you is to keep your bar stocked with alcohol, and that requires you to do a resupply mission. So it's not completely passive in the background, anything like that. 
You can do these missions once every 48 minutes. They have a cooldown. And basically what you do is you need to steal a van, bring it back to your MC Clubhouse. Normally you'll get paid $10,000, but with the double money in RP this week, you'll be making $20,000 for the mission itself, which isn't too bad right there because it's only gonna take you about five minutes to do. And then of course, what's gonna happen is every single in-game day that your bar actually has stock, you'll make $5,000. And with the double money this week as well, that should maybe be 10,000 with the bar earnings. I'm not actually sure if that's how it works. It's just the missions that are paying double. So I'm not sure if the actual money you're getting in the bag in your clubhouse is actually going to be double as well. But nonetheless, say if it's 20,000 for the mission and 5,000 each in-game day, that's basically what you're looking at. This otherwise normally isn't worth it, but I just wanna showcase it here in this video because it is on bonus this week and I don't think I've ever made a live gameplay of it. So we need to collect these supplies. You can see that little alcohol icon on the map and let's go steal them. So rolling up on the location here, we're gonna find a few guys hanging around their van, things like that. If you try and fire at them, you can't actually injure them because it just won't let you shoot. A lot of these guys are just gonna end up running away. So all you wanna do is just hop in the van and steal it. And of course, you'll have some pursuers after you just like any other mission in GTA Online. And you gotta look for that supplies icon. As you can see, I already lost a little bit because I'm driving erratically. And the game tells you in the top left that the bar supplies are fragile. You wanna avoid taking too much damage and things like that. So that's why you should make it a priority to shoot at these guys and make sure that you know you don't crash or anything like that, like I just did, as you're delivering all your stock. These guys, what, are they just, kamikaze me. But once you get your van back to the clubhouse, you know, whatever your supplies level is, don't worry about it. Just deliver it and there you go. It's very fast, very easy. $20,000 right there. And in 48 minutes, I will have money right here on the desk. There's going to be like a duffel bag that spawns and you can go and collect that as long as there's money there. Like I said, normally it's not really worth participating in this bar resupply mission unless like MC businesses and your MC clubhouse are the only businesses and properties you have in this game. But for this week, I figured I'd just show it off because it's not the most boring thing in the world. Honestly, it's a little bit more fun than doing some of the bounty missions in some cases, just because it's fast and very simple. For our next bonus, I wanna to talk to you guys about the double money on the street dealer sales. Now, if you wanna find the locations of these guys, they'll show up on the map with like this little like purple chat box icon or like, you know, thought bubble type deal, you could sell your biker product to these guys as well as acid and things like that. Now, unfortunately, they do take away from the stock of your businesses, but you are making some pretty fantastic money just for selling a couple units to each of these guys. So what we're gonna do is sell two units of math and we're gonna make $66,600. We'll also sell one unit of Coca-Cola for $40,700. We'll sell 10 units of grass for 28,400. And we'll also sell 10 units of acid for $29,300. There are three, whoops, I didn't mean to punch you lady. There are three street dealer locations you can find across the map. And if you would like to find them yourself, I suggest you check out the link in the description below. It will lead you to gtaweb.eu. And this is a great online resource to find basically everything in game from all the daily collectibles, stash houses, things like that. You could find everything on this map. We're just gonna be using it for the street dealers this week. So here was location number one. Next, I'm gonna go to location number two, which is all the way out in Sandy Shores, right about here. And coming up on the location, this guy's I'm sure, yeah, he's gonna be hanging around the back, so I don't need to pull in super far with my car. But let's go here, see what he's up to. He's in a very shady spot. This is definitely a street dealer. So let's sell one unit of Coca-Cola to him for $78,200. That is an incredible amount. That's like the special amount you can get right there. We'll sell two units of math for $35,700. We will sell 10 units of grass for $30,700, as well as 10 units of acid for $30,100. Boom, we just made a ton of money off this guy right here as well. Let's go to the last street dealer location, which according to the map today, they are located all the way over here, sort of near, Okay, I was about to say the lighthouse, but I'm pretty sure the lighthouse is right here. He's over here. Now, like I said, selling to the street dealers does take away from the product that you're generating at your MC businesses, but you can only sell to each of these guys once a day. So it's not like you're gonna totally ruin your double money and RP grinding for your biker sale missions, especially while your productions are also double the speed this week. So honestly, sell to the street dealers, sell your actual business stock themselves. When it comes to a single money event week, I would argue that the MC businesses aren't worth focusing on, 
because you just spend so much time on the cell missions, it takes away from grinding Kyo Perico, the Dr. Dre contract, things like that. And you're better off just selling your acid product or your MC business product to the street dealers, and that's about it. So let's sell 10 units of acid for $63,000 right here. We'll sell 10 units of math for $33,800. We'll sell 10 units of grass for $29,000, as well as one unit of Coca-Cola for $41,300. And as you can see right there, we made a total of $477,500 just for driving around the map, selling to street dealers once a day. And it's not like I'm gonna be at a total loss because like I said, the biker businesses are generating production at two times the normal rate. And the acid lab doesn't take too long to generate product anyway. So you don't have to worry about this taking away from your actual biker cell missions themselves. Now, before we jump in, let's talk about two ways you can sort of optimally farm these MC businesses, depending on the kind of player you are and the money you're targeting. You can either fill up your business entirely like I've done, and when I sell the stock, I will make $1,050,000 in an invite-only session. Of course, if I go into a public lobby, with every single player in the lobby up to 20 players, I will earn a 2.5% boost on the total payout, so basically I can get up to 50% more money on top of the $1,050,000 for the sale. But you can either do that, or if you want to sort of mitigate your risk, you can also just resupply each business once and then sell. And what that will allow you to do is to maintain one sell vehicle because no one wants to deal with a bunch of post-op vans or garbage trucks. The boats aren't too bad, but like say if you're in a public lobby, you're totally solo and you don't want your product getting blown up, you absolutely want to mitigate your risk. So go for whatever works for you this week. But it's very, very simple. All you need to do is just buy supplies for all these businesses. You're Businesses will generate product over time. Once they fill up, you just sell. There's different time intervals that they produce in. They range anywhere, especially with a double production speed, they'll range anywhere from about one to like two and a half hours, I guess, or three hours or something like that. But honestly, it's really not too bad to manage, especially if you're playing this game. And if you just keep selling when you've done one resupply, you can continuously rotate these businesses almost indefinitely. So let's just jump in. I'm gonna go through and let's see how much money we can make from every single one of these businesses. Of course, I don't have, I guess I have a little bit to sell for my document for forgery office, so we might as well sell that again today, but I do need to make sure I buy supplies for this business. So let's start off here with the Coca-Cola lockup. And what we're gonna do is we're of course gonna sell this for $1,050,000. So let's do that right now. And here is our last drop off with the bike for the Coca-Cola. And there you go, $1,050,000 sold right there. I'm just gonna do all of these in invite only lobbies. Of course, if you do these in public with up to 20 players in your session, in your public session, then you can make that extra 50% on each sale. So 50% extra money on top of already the double money with the sales this week. But that is the Coca-Cola lockup. Now I just like to sell my math lab as well. So next, as you can see, I'm here in my math lab and I have, of course, full product again. So what we're gonna do is sign right into the computer. We are gonna sell full stock for $892,500. This is already gonna be $2 million made in under a half hour here. So let's get started with that. My sparrow is just, my sparrow's on. Do you see that? Why is it, why is it on? That is the most bizarre thing I've seen. Hold on, I'm just gonna hop into this. I, I'm like nervous this thing's gonna like blow up on me or something. That is so, I've never had that happen before. This is a very, very easy mission. Once again, we just have the single truck. This is like the optimal solution for any single one of your MC businesses. Getting this one truck, you just drive to the destination. This is gonna take us less than five minutes. I mean, we're three and a half miles from the destination. I'm so happy about this one once again. We did this with the document forgery sale for the weekly challenge in yesterday's weekly update guide showcasing the reward you get and stuff like that. So believe me, I'm very happy that we have this one again. And there we go, simple as pie, $892,500 in the bag right there for our math lab. Let's go, baby. Next, as you can see, I'm in my counterfeit cash factory and we are going to sell all this counterfeit cash for real money right here. So of course, we're gonna log in, sell our stock. This is gonna get you, at least if you're selling full product, $735,000 long distance. If you guys are selling from the city, then of course, selling to Blaine County would be long distance for you. Selling locally to the city would be the 490K. But with the double money, long distance, 735,000. Let's get started. And unfortunately, it is three trucks. And if you guys notice here, I have one all the way around the corner. It seems as though Rockstar patch, I don't really try and do this ever because I could never get it to work, 
But if you try and spawn a bunch of your vehicles, like the Sparrow, your personal vehicle, throw down an Avenger, things like that, I guess before it would be able to like mitigate the amount of vehicles you would get and it would force the game to give you the single truck as your sale vehicle, for example. But now what happens post bottom dollar bounties update is they just park the vehicle you're supposed to get around the corner. So I was always supposed to get the garbage trucks and instead of Rockstar abandoning the garbage truck mission for this sale and just giving me the other truck or boats or something like that, they're actually just gonna give me the garbage truck still, but they're gonna park the other one further away. So now that we've talked about that, I'm wasting precious time here. Let's move on with this sale. And there we go, tons of time later and $735,000 later, we completed the sale with the garbage trucks entirely solo as well. All that leaves now is the grass farm as well as the document forgery office to sell today. I think when it comes to the grass too, the only real difference in this mission if you get the single truck, which I honestly am not the biggest fan of when it comes to this one, just because of the fact that of course your character gets super stoned and so your driving's terrible and all that. I mean, it's still gonna be the quickest sell mission, but of course it's just a little bit annoying or a little bit more annoying than the other ones just because of the fact your character swerving all across the road. So let's end up selling it. I mean, we still continue with the grass farmer. We made almost $51 million with this business over a lifetime, just my PC account alone. We're gonna be selling it for $630,000 long distance this week. Let's go. Okay, and we have the boat. So how far are we going for that? We gotta drive all the way down. I'm just gonna request my Sparrow for this one. And last but not least, the grass farm is done, $666,000, because of course we were able to keep the bonus as well for driving the speedboats really fast, or the dinghies I should say, in order to actually get some bonuses on each drop off. So that's pretty nice as well. We made an extra $36,000 from that. Okay, actually it turns out we got absolutely nothing. So. Normally, I would say you shouldn't focus on this business, but with the double money, it's probably worth your time this week if you're farming the rest of the MC businesses and you're just planning on selling MC businesses this week, and that's absolutely it. But if you want to play your Kaya Perico, Dr. Dre contract, casino heist, things like that, I would just ignore this one. Nonetheless, I, pro I should probably just wait to sell it, but let's just get it done for the sake of this mission. $56,700, let's just do it to top off all the businesses and say we sold them all in one video. So we have a van for this delivery. I'm so glad that the mission we got post-op vans for is the business where I have no stock anyway. So honestly, this thing is slow as heck, but here we are, we're selling the post-op van. Let's just get it done and over with. And there we go, our last drop off. Totally not worth it at all for that $56,700. I'd recommend just filling up all your businesses so you can get all, you know, done with all the bulk sales all at once. But if you just want to chain every single business delivery, feel free to just do one resupply for each. But honestly, when it comes down to a lot of it, say, you know, I think the case for a lot of players this week, since they probably haven't sold MC businesses in a while, neither have I. I used to farm them a lot, but I kind of stopped just because it's a little bit frustrating to like deal with it all the time you know it's a lot of deliveries rockstar did you know extend the timer of the deliveries by 50 percent so solo players would have more time to sell these slow post op vans or the garbage truck and things like that but that's not the problem players have our problem as a player base is needing to sell them in the first place they're super slow we should be limited to one vehicle i understand that it's a challenge to get it done in the time frame and that's what rockstar's like balance for the mission was and their intention and plan but these are just slow and that's why players don't want to take advantage to be honest the mc businesses paying out double money should be how they are by default now this should be just the normal one times money value considering they're buffing everything else in the game but of course, when it comes to some of these MC businesses, I don't think we'll ever see that, unfortunately. But nonetheless, that is every single sale in this game. Don't forget about those street dealers. And of course, don't forget about your bar resupply missions if you want to take advantage of it. That's just some little role play. If you're like getting really into the biker themed event week, definitely do that. Otherwise, when it's one times money and even when it's two times money, I'm not really going to focus on it at all. But it is there if you want to check it out. And of course, I showcase that here today. But those are all the different ways you can make money this week in G. GTA Online, of course, I would highly recommend if you want like a full MC business guide, then definitely check out the link down in my description below. That will walk you through exactly how to set up all your businesses, the best ones, the profit per hour breakdowns, etc. This is more of just a refresher and a live gameplay to showcase to you what's possible when you sell each and every one of your MC businesses this week, including the bar resupply mission payouts, as well as the street dealers as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check me out over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram if you want to see more GTA Online content outside of YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Adios, amigos.